how's everybody? Did you guys uh, make your dishwasher tabs? Have you been using them? Do you love them? I love my dishwasher tabs. Okay, so I had to relocate tonight. I couldn't be at the dining room because too many, too many things. So that's why we're at a different location today. Oh, good. I'm glad you love your dishwasher tabs. And they're so easy. Like, you just throw them in there. Bam. You're done. And they're cheaper, too. So why not, right? Okay, so anyway, today we are making hand sanitizer. And this isn't the gel kind like you get in the Purell bottles. It's the spray kind. And I like the spray kind better because, um, oh, here's my dog. Maggie, you want to come say hi? Come say hi. Come here. Here's my dog, Maggie. This is Maggie. She's dirty. She needs a bath. Um, anyway, this is not the gel kind. This is the spray kind. And I like the spray hand sanitizer better because... Say hi, Maggie. Say hi. Because um, not only can you use it on hands, but you can use it on lots of other things too. Like um, spraying the handles with shopping carts or those nasty... Um, high chairs that you get at restaurants. You can spray the stuff on them. So I just like the spray better because I think it's more versatile. But I do have a recipe for the um, the gel. So if you want that, um, I'll have a recipe for, recipe for you, but I just don't have the stuff to make it. So here's what you need for your hand sanitizer spray. You need um, to fill a two ounce glass bottle uh, with water. I fill it right about here, right underneath the little neck right there, so that when I add all my other stuff, it doesn't, you know, overflow. And then you're gonna need a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of vitamin E, but that's optional, so if you don't have it, don't worry about it, and then 10 drops of thieves. So get your spray bottles and fill them up to about right here with water, and then you can start adding the rest of your stuff. And, um, I don't have vitamin E because I ran out, but whoops. But um, I'm going to be using my argan oil instead because the vitamin E is kind of there to moisturize your hands. So this will do the same purpose. So if you don't have vitamin E but you do have like a moisturizing carrier oil, you can use that instead. So I'm going to use my argan oil because it's a moisturizing oil. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is my quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So get your your salt and pour that in there and then very carefully tip that into your spray bottle if you have a tiny funnel that works too but I don't have a tiny funnel so I just have to be very careful alright so you put the salt in there and the reason we're putting the salt in there is because um, for the most part, bacteria, the bacteria in your hands, and that you'll find on shopping carts and stuff, it doesn't really like salt water. Um, the salt kind of sucks the, the moisture out of the bacteria. So that's why we're putting the salt in there to help with that. Um, the next thing you're going to need is your quarter of a teaspoon of vitamin E, if you're going to do that. If you don't have that, that's fine. Skip that step. But I'm using my carrier oil since I don't have my vitamin E. And this is mainly so that your hands don't, don't get really dry. But um, you don't have to worry about having this. It's not going to make your hand sanitizer less effective if you don't have the vitamin E or the carrier oil in there. So... Again, be careful just pouring it in. Pour that in, the quarter of a teaspoon. And then the very last thing you need is your 10 drops of thieves oil. So I got a fresh, brand new bottle. See, unopened. So I'm going to open this up for the very first time. Ah, thieves. Okay, so I got my thieves oil. I tend, I don't know, I'm paranoid. I tend to like shake up my blends first because when you've got oil blends, I feel like they're different densities. Maybe they separate a little. I don't know. That's just me. Um, but you're going to put in 10 drops of thieves. One, two, three. There we go. 10, oops, 11 snuck in there. That's okay. So that's all you need. Pretty easy, huh? Water, salt, vitamin E if you want, and 10 drops of thieves. And then you just 
put your little thing back on and you can tell this is going to be way too big so I'm going to cut it with my scissors and when you are cutting um, any tubing for a spray bottle it's best to do it at an angle so that it soaks up more liquid so I'm going to put it at an angle Whoop, sorry guys and cut that and then I'll um, I'll measure it and see if it fits in there still too long jeez but um, keep in mind that before you use this you need to shake it each time so shake it a few times and then um, spray it I'm throwing plastic tubing everywhere okay there we go so that's all you have to do shake it up and then it's ready to go you can spray this on your kids hands and since everything that I put in here is um, safe for ingestion I don't have to worry if my kids like rub their hands and then put their hands in their mouth or put it on their food you know what I mean like when you're using that Purell hand sanitizer and they they rub it on their hands and then they grab their food I don't know to me I'm like I don't really I don't really like that so that's why I really like this and I like that you can also use it the spray it's a spray so you can use it on so many other things um, like I said grocery carts or those high chairs or tables um, whatever you want but if you're more like a gel person like maybe you don't have nasty grubby kids and you just want this for yourself um, here's a recipe if you just want the gel uh, you I would take like an empty Purell bottle that you have and use that as the container because a spray bottle isn't going to work very well for a gel so you would need five tablespoons of aloe vera which you can easily find um, in the pharmacy section at Walmart you need four tablespoons of water half a teaspoon of vitamin E and then the ten drops of these but I don't have the aloe vera obviously I don't have the vitamin E so I'm not gonna make the gel and this kind of works best for me and my family right now so that's what I do I do the thieves hand sanitizer do you guys have any questions about making it or do you have any other ideas on places to use it other than like the three that I keep naming because those are the three places I'm always using it I'm always using this stuff on grocery carts the high chairs at restaurants and tables because why because my kid they like put their hands on everything it drives me crazy like we're in the restaurant and Johnny will like crawl around all over the booth and then he's like oh, I'm grabbing a french fry and he's sticking his hand I'm like do you know what was on that booth like come on don't put your hands in your on your food but that's right like this one. anyway so that was hand sanitizer it took you what like two seconds it probably took you two seconds so for those of you that just popped in this is what we made we made um the hand sanitizer, fill your two ounce spray bottle with water, half a teaspoon salt, a quarter of a teaspoon salt, quarter of a teaspoon vitamin E if you have it, and 10 drops of thieves. So next time, we're gonna make thieves tea. Yay! Can clean toilet seats. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. Yes, I haven't even thought of that. Yes, you could totally spray your thieves hand sanitizer on the toilet seat before your kids sit down on it or on the the handle that you have to push that's a great idea so next time we're gonna make these tea so that's the 18th um, same time 8 p.m. Central Standard Time you need tea and you need honey thieves lemon and peppermint so that's all you need and a cup obviously but anyway that's next time if you are on Periscope right now then you already know this information but if you want to watch this again you can get on YouTube and subscribe to my channel and then um, if you want to uh, follow in next time because you're watching this on YouTube then you can subscribe to AK Waffle and you can chat with me in here so anyway unless you guys have some questions and you want to um, ask me about hand sanitizer or thieves tea which tastes delicious Oh, something I recommend for Thieves Tea is um, if you've got local honey, that's really good because then you're doing several things. Not only are you like really helping out your throat, and Thieves Tea is great for if you're sick, then you can um, use this to kind of help you feel better. Or if you're a healthy person, you can use uh, Thieves Tea to keep you healthy, right? But um, using the local honey is going to give you stuff from 
the pollen from the area around. So if you have allergies, it can help with those because it gets that stuff into your system so your body's used to it and your body won't freak out when it's cedar season or whatever season you're in wherever you live. So I recommend finding some local honey if you can. Anyway, that's next Thursday, so I'll see you guys next week. Bye!